All right, so we got back and biceps. I got a new cable setup. I'm gonna show you a little bit of that. Not like an in-depth review or anything. I'm just gonna just gonna test it out today for some uh, pull downs instead of the band, so I can finally start to track. Got to check out the view. Sadly, no farmer carries today because of it. A little bit of a dying snow snow person there, and the tire. Yep, so that's the view. Winter Wonderland out there. All right, <clears throat> time to check the weight. So we're going to do shoes and sweatshirt on. So you can just subtract three pounds if that sort of thing bothers you for more accurate. Um, all right, let me flip you around so you can see. It's out of the way. Zero it out. Let's see what we got. 8.2, okay. Nice. I haven't seen that 2.11 again. 8.2. Cool. All right. Yeah, so probably like 205.2 ish. Um, and then in the morning, you could take off, I don't know, I mean, maybe another two pounds or something like that. So maybe 203.2, something like that. Um, Either way, let me show you what we got on the uh, day 145 of the journey to 220. Takes a while, you know, slow and steady. That's the whole uh, point of documenting this process is that it's not a quick thing, you know. It's uh, very steady, up and down, you know. Um, so, yeah, doesn't doesn't happen overnight. All right, so first thing, I'm going to do some pull-ups instead of chin-ups today. Two sets. Then I'm going to do some single-arm cable pulls for the back. Then we'll do two sets of uh, dumbbell curl. And then probably do some um, fat grip farmer curls after that, but we'll see. All right, haven't done these in a little bit, so being, you know, I would say modest on the goals. Um, eight, that'll be a good re-entry into uh, pull-ups. I can't remember, it was maybe a month ago when I switched to doing just the chin-ups, but I think that having the variation will help. We'll see. Because the chin-ups are kind of holding steady at 110, which is totally fine. But I'd like to uh, like to break through. So maybe throwing some of these weighted in the circuit will help. <clears throat> All right. Still paused, obviously. Not doing any of those crappy flopping around reps. All right, that felt really good. Got some nice pops in the back, too. Nothing to be worried about, just, you know, a little bit of decompression. I'm a fan of decompressing at the end of every workout. That's just what works for me. It's basically like one of those inversion tables, except you're adding weight with a weight belt. When you do it, that's what I do. I can't recommend that because I've got no idea if that's even something that you're supposed to do, but it works for me, you know. I don't, I don't even know if there's any research on that type of thing. I just tried it one day, or actually, I was just doing weighted pull-ups with like two plates, and I got some good like crackle pops in the back, and my back felt better than normal. Um, it doesn't hurt, but it just you know, felt better that day. So I was like, huh, maybe I should try that every day. Here we are. All right, a little rest. I don't know, I never feel like pull-ups take too much out of me unless I'm doing like a set of 30 body, I don't know, I'm not trying to, you know, sound, uh, you know what I mean, when I was saying 30. Because <laughs> 30 is a good amount of reps and, you know, everyone has a different level that they're at. Um, so like for me, 10 used to be very challenging. Then eventually I got to do it 15 and 20 and 25 and 30, um, over time, a long period of time. So what I meant by that was just, if I was to do something like that for me, that would be close to maximum effort. So, 
um, that would get my heart rate going. Um, I wasn't trying to uh, sound like a schmuck. <laughs> I don't know what the term would be for that. Oh, there's a term. What is it? Oh, like flexing on people. I think that's that's the term. That was not that was not my intent. I was just trying to uh, think of something that would really get my you know get my uh, cardio depleted. And after something like that, you know, like basically a max effort set on something for a, a lot of repetitions, that would get the cardio. That was only eight reps, even though it was pretty close to max effort. It wasn't enough reps to really toast the breathing. So after that long-winded explanation, we shall proceed. Hopefully for six plus. Maybe another set of eight, though. Now that I've recovered longer. Cool. All right. A little short on seven there. I'm heavier now. Actually, I don't know if I could do 30 pull-ups. Not going to test that out right now. All right. On to those uh, cables. So the uh, unboxing is complete. Got the cable set up. Got this, uh, you know, plate mounting area. Typical cable. I'm just going to use the tricep rope because that's all I have for now. And supposedly this can hold 280 pounds. So, I mean, not so sure about that, but that's what it says. So, and typically on weaker or, you know, frailer equipment, that's really cheap. They don't put a weight rating so that if something happens, you know, they can say, well, we didn't, you know, specifically say you could or you couldn't do that. So, this has an actual weight rating. So, I think that. It's a good thing. So I'm going to try a set here for uh, probably a set of 15. We'll just do a 45 and kind of see how it feels. <sighs> Test this out. Probably going to swing a little bit at first. I think, I think that'll work. I think I need to back up a little bit more, though. <sighs> ah. Oh, that's way better than the band. Excellent idea. There were a couple people that recommended this to me. Uh, this is actually really smooth. Really good tension throughout. You know, it's equally difficult. <sighs> All right, we'll just go get four more. Although I definitely got to get a regular handle because the forearms are going to get toasted, which is okay, but <sighs> <sighs> not what I'm trying to do. Maybe if I go, if I go like that, that'd be better. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to get we'll have to get a better handle for this. Don't have one, sadly. All right, it's not bad. It's just working. Maybe this works. This might work. I'm not even gonna flip over the uh, pull up thing. I don't think it's going anywhere. Yeah, this is awesome. Might get three sets here. We'll see. <sighs> All right. Lats are feeling good. So. If I want to add weight, oh, it'll be off camera. I'm going to add a 25 for the next one. And uh, we'll get, hopefully, like I said, a 12. All right, so if you want to add weight, I'll do this one-handed to show that it's not horrible. That thing just pops down. Sorry about that. Toss that on there. Now we got more weight. All right, so 70 pounds now. Oh, that's nice. That just rotates. All right, that's pretty easy. I'm um, trying to get 12 here. Honestly, I'm not sure what like would be comparable to you know doing a pull-off because <sighs> single arm, so I should be able to do 
105 pounds per side for, you know, however many reps I can do pull-ups of, right? Because that's roughly half the body weight. But this, this feels heavier, I would say. You know what I can do? I can knot this. There we go. That could work. This doesn't flip over. Do not flip over. Ah, only back up so much. Trial and error. All right, I'm just gonna go with this. And hold it up here. I just need a new handle. Yeah, some total of what we've learned from today. Cause this cable's awesome. Ten. All right. I'll let that shoulder stretch. That's how I like to do them. All right, toasty, a little rest. Um, I think I'll do a drop down set because those feel good. So a double set, both hands get 15, same weight, still 70. All right, kind of a close grip here. I feel that in the lats though. That's what we're trying to work. Ah, okay. I don't know how you would do curls with this, but we'll have to experiment a little bit, figure it out. All right, curls, 60s. It's been the uh, standard weight. Um, I got seven last time on, on Saturday, but the seventh rep of form was, uh, you know, it wasn't terrible, but wasn't great either. Nothing to write home about, so I like to use that expression. Um, so, yeah, we'll try and get six, maybe seven with good form. Um, put down six plus, so anything six or above. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, all right, seven. Still on that seventh rep. I'll have, to, I'll have to watch and see if the form was better or if it was the same. Um, so we're going to crush the uh, biceps here and do 
typical drop set. Um, I don't know. I like the drop sets. I haven't measured my arms before and after starting to do this type of approach for arm day. Um, so I don't know if they've uh, gotten bigger. Also, obviously factor in the bulking. That helps. So not 100% sure on that one. All right. See if we can get 12 to 15 here. Arms are toasty. This is good. One, two, three. a little bit cool probably give it like 20 seconds 30 seconds the brand for that pulley is me polo sounds greek m-i-k-o-l-o -O. um i didn't pick it because it was that brand i just found one that was in the price range the budget I had to work with and had the pulley system and a couple attachments um, and yeah I mean it's good only tried it once so I don't know if I can recommend it yet all right I like it though just to be able to add some back work without decimating the lower back you know is awesome might be the end of those double dumbbell rows. I don't know. The squats and deadlifts seem to be getting better in correlation with me not doing those. So, I don't know. <coughs> Uh-oh. I'm fine. <sighs> Got to get that full range on the uh, bicep curls. I hate, I won't do none of that. Man. Stretch. Your muscle strong through full range of motion, then it's less likely to get injured. If you're only strong through 70% of the range of motion, then in that other 30%, you're more likely to get injured. All right, we'll get five more. I'm gonna rest it. All right, crushed. Hopefully I'm in the uh, frame there per usual. I'm not sure. Um, that was a solid workout for today. Very happy with that cable setup. I will be using that um, on other days. Um, probably just tricep rows, those are the main things. I'm gonna figure out how the curl setup works. Then I'll give that a shot. Um, but I don't know if I'll be able to make that work. So, but the arms, biceps get worked enough, so we'll be okay. Triceps would be good to have an alternative that's a little bit less tendon intensive, so to speak. The press downs are much less tendon intensive than uh, crushers. <sighs> all right, so that's it for today. Appreciate all the 80s movies ideas. There were a lot, actually, that I had not heard, for, heard of, um, like Time Cop. Brian, good call on that. Um, I've heard of Robocop, but not Time Cop, so I don't know if that's... Um, I don't know if that's the same universe, so to speak. Um, and yeah, there were, there were actually a lot. Cobra, 
I'd heard of, but I've never seen. I believe that's a Stallone one, an early, earlier Stallone one. So I got some watching to do. Going to fuel up, rest and recover, and then we'll do some uh, shoulders tomorrow. It's starting to look like the snow might be melted by tomorrow. I really hope so because then I can do some log press outside. If not, I might try the log press in the uh, rack. Um, Urban Journal, great suggestion there. I did not think of that. I don't know why I didn't, but the Z press, I think it's called. I'm not sure if that's named after Big Z or not because he's a tank and has the log press world record, or he did at one point in time, 530 pounds, something crazy. Should look that up. Zadrinus Zaviscus log press record. Very cool. Um, and also, he's just an epically strong, strong man. Greatest strong man of all time. I don't even think you would have to say arguably. He just is. So, yeah. That's, that's some pretty cool stuff there. I like watching the uh, strong man vids. Gets me fired up. Um, it's more interesting to me than bodybuilding. Because bodybuilding is based on judges opinion of how someone looks strongman like if you pick up a thousand pounds and you're the only person to do it there's not really any question there you know maybe there's a little bit of question on form or something like that but it's very clear cut when someone wins so that's that's why i like it and it's more interesting to watch by far in my opinion feel free to comment your thoughts on that i'd be very interested to hear what people think because i have kind of a mix of bodybuilding style strongman style a little bit of powerlifting stuff in there but not really more the strongman bodybuilding. So I'd be interested to hear what, you know, people watching this kind of cater to, uh, what, what they're more interested in and why. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. I'm gonna go get some, uh, some carbs in, should be good. Um, Pop-Tarts have run out, sadness. So we'll probably go with the, uh, the Starbursts and then uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. It's still light out, so that's good. Um, enjoy the rest of the day and uh, yeah, we'll see you in 24 hours-ish. Yeah. Oh, and thank you for the support, as always. Much appreciated. All right. Peace.